the, I mean, it seems to me if you want to be very, very um, uh, engaged with the, the world, you, you work on things like the Obama campaign, and you work on legislation that would that would uh, that would uh, change um, uh, building codes for um, insulation values and so forth, and that architects designing a, um, a, a more successful green building. Uh, with uh, you know larger power values or whatever, uh, and it is a, a, a small piece that, that you can't you can't at all compare with the effectiveness, the possible effectiveness of, of federal action to federal government. Uh, but but it still leaves unanswered this question of what kind of influence can an elite have, and what kind of influence does history show us that elites have had. Um, and um, I, I think I think it's very very hard to answer that question. Uh, but what's coming to mind at the moment is uh, D. H. Lawrence writing Lady Chatterley's Lover, and opening up a whole new world of culture. Uh, um, and uh, you know um, how many people read uh, Lady Chatterley's Lover when it came out in 1930? Probably again about 2000. Um, uh, so, so, uh, so I have no doubt at all that it's very, very important to work on, on, on the details of single buildings. Uh, and, but I cannot um, imagine how anyone could write a history of how uh, the details of, of certain buildings um, trickle down uh, as the force of uh, Lady Charlotte's lover did into the broader culture. 